Hi, everyone. Welcome to North Metro TV's untitled, socially distant game show. I'm your host, Eric. And joining us today, we have two contestants that may be familiar to viewers of our first episode. Joining us today is the is the host, the author of the Eggnog blog. That's right. It's Rusty Ray. Nice, nice to be here again. Uh, yeah, check out, there it is, eggnogblog.com. A new post uh, just today. Very cool. Oh, can you give us a preview of what nog was, what egg was nogged today? Uh, it was a local brew uh, from St. Paul, Schroeder, grade A premium holiday favorite eggnog. Uh, it rated a, what did I say, 6.5 on the scale. So, yeah. And the scale is out of? Well, out of 10. 10. Okay. So also good. joining us, uh, great, good for you. Also joining us today, uh, direct from NASCAR. It's Danica Patrick. Hey, buckle up. Happy to be here. Looks like you're going, I, don't, I think, really fast. <laughs> and I see that your, your car, the entire roof is made out of glass. Well, that's how we do. Good to know. And you're driving from the middle. Yes. OK. Yes, that's very cool. Good to know. Well, friends, we're going to start today with a good old fashioned round of how old. This is a favorite game here at the North Metro TV offices. I'm going to ask our players. I'm going to give them the name of a celebrity. They have to guess how old that celebrity is. First player gets a crack at the age. Second player gets to guess if they think that the celebrity is older or younger. Winner gets one point. If somebody guesses the age direct on, that's worth two points. And as we're taping this episode, these are birthdays from today and yesterday. Now, Rusty uh, lost our last episode, so I'm going to give him first crack. All right. Rusty, how old is Britney Spears? Uh, she's got to be in her 40s. No, 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 no. Oh, man, I can't, I can't go back to these, can I? I don't think that you can. Danica, Rusty thinks Britney Spears is 48. Younger. Nope. She 40. is younger. She's 39. Oh, man. 39 for Britney Spears. I, I suspect her Vegas residency not going so great these days. And also, uh, I believe in the news currently, uh, some legal setbacks for the Britney Spears. Daddy issues. Literally. Danica... How old is Lucy Liu? Lucy Liu of Charlie's Angels fame. 51. 51 for Lucy Liu. Rusty, do you think Lucy Liu is older or younger than younger. 51? Younger. I'm sorry, she is 52. Point to Danica. But Rusty, you can redeem yourself. All you need to know is how old is Zoe Kravitz? How old is Zoe Kravitz? She's the star of uh, Mad Max Fury Road, uh, recently High Fidelity over on Hulu. I want to say 32. 32 for Zoe Kravitz. Danica, hit the brakes. Rusty got it right on. She is 32. Just like that, it is a tie ball game. As we turn to Danica and we ask her, comedian Sarah Silverman. How old is comedian Sarah Silverman? Star of, 43. oh, 43. Danica says, as we turn to Rusty, eggnogblog.com's chief correspondent, Rusty Ray. I want to say older. Older than, I'm sorry, how old did you say? How old is she? No, she said 43. <laughs> That's right. She said 43. She is 50 years old. Point goes to Rusty. As we, our final celebrity of the round, Danica. Yes. How old is the divine Miss M? Bette Midler. Mm. Bette Midler once ruined a trip of mine to the station. Well, I dish, sister. I was trying to make friends with Matt Lauer, but Ben Midler was performing. This was 
from back in the day. Sorry to return. <laughs> so what you mean to say is that Bette Midler saved you. I mean, also Katie Couric, though, and she's still cool. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then Bed Midler was performing that day and she was out singing and dancing some Broadway jam. And I was like, listen, how am I supposed to hang out with Katie Couric when there's a thousand people here because Bed Midler? So you stayed to see Bet Midler though, right? Yeah, we stayed. Oh, night. That's now I'm jealous. I would love to see Bet Midler. Sixty seven. Sixty seven for the star of Hocus. Pocus and the First Wives Club. Mm -hmm. Bette Midler. Rusty, what say you? Older. She is 75. 75. That means that at the end of our first game, Rusty is in the lead. Four points to two. Early. Now, for this next uh, for this next round, I'm going to need to ask Danica to get out of her car and get into her office because it is time for the office scavenger hunt. This is where it all goes wrong. Office scavenger hunt. I'm going to give our contestants a list of items. They may write them down if they choose. They will have 30 seconds oh to find the items on the list. They will get a point for each item that they are able to find. And here are your items. Do not start grabbing until you get to say so. Here's what I need. I need a pill. Mm -hmm. I need something that is cat related. I need a hat. I need an individually wrapped snack item. I'm looking for a picture of a baby. It cannot be on your phone. Mm -hmm. Those are the items I'm looking for. You are not allowed to leave your office. Time starts now. You have 30 seconds find all of course they both quickly leave the camera viewing area which makes this all the more exciting very exciting 15 seconds down they have 15 seconds to go to find these items because i begin to feel as though i am giving them too much time on the clock rusty thinks he has something danica said time has expired that is all the time that there is. All right, friends, let me see a pill. Look at that, a point for each. Let me see something cat related. I think that this is cat related. It's gonna be cat related. What is it? It's a toy, it's a ball and it's a flag. No, it's unacceptable. No. No, Is that's definitely ribbon? not quick. Not, neither of you has succeeded in finding something cat related. Right. What about a hat? Surely the, the weather has turned. We got two hats, almost very similar looking hats, even. What about an individually wrapped snack item? Yep, for sure. Rusty is knocking a current favorite of the Houston household, a nugget. What kind of, is that just a straight <laughs> milk chocolate nugget? Is that an almond nugget? Not the almond in there. The almond. There you go. There you go. Let me see a picture of a baby. It can't be on your phone. Now, Rusty for sure has won. <laughs> Danica has given me something that is not on her phone. So she's technically correct. However, I don't think I can call that a baby. All right. <laughs> So point rusty, that's definitely not a baby. <laughs> rusty ended up with four points that round. Danica with three. That puts the total score at eight for Rusty, five for Danica. As we move on to our next game. So this is a new game on the show. It's, it's play, however, is pretty familiar. This game is called What's my job? I am going to pretend to have a job that I don't have. Oh, okay. So this is normal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you guys need to figure out what my job is. You may ask me yes or no questions. You may keep asking questions until you get a no. You, between the two of you, there are 12 no's to go around. 
you will get however many points are left on that no chart when one of you successfully guesses what my job is. You may also pass. If you're knee deep in the S's and you feel like you don't know what's going on, you may pass to the next person. She's running the wrong way. She's going backwards. <laughs> Danica, you are behind. You may begin the questioning. As you try to figure out, what's my job? Are you generally considered to have a blue collar job? Am I considered to have a blue collar job? I would have to say that yes. That yes, I do have a blue collar job. Do you shower after work? Do I shower after work? Listen. Yeah, I, I would. House, I shower after work. I would say that I do shower after work, but I don't know that necessarily <laughs> everyone with my profession does. Okay. I, I think it would be advisable, but I can't say that for certain. So that's a that's a qualified yes. Okay. Do. You work with other people. I do, but others with my job might not. Do you work with animals? In a manner of speaking, yes. My on-camera light has run out of power. That. It will now be somewhat darker for the remainder of this show. Um. Professional uh, television. Okay. Does your work make you stronger? Does my work make me stronger? I mean, I suppose so, but I would think only marginally. There's okay. there's some small, I don't want to offend people who actually have this job, but there is some exercise involved. Do you spend most of your day in a vehicle? No. One down, 11 to go, Rusty. Is your salary paid through taxpayer money? No. Two down, 10 to go, Danica. Do you spend most of your day at a desk? No. Three down, nine to go, Rusty. Do you come into contact with children on your job? I may, but it is not a necessary part of my job. So my turn? Yes. I mean, it's a yes, but it's not, it's not a job requirement per se. Uh, is it a nine to five job? Yes. What a way to make a living. Yeah. Uh, do you make a commission? Do I make a commission? I, I uh, no, no. I don't think, I suppose, I suppose some uh, employers might offer some sort of weird commission, but I don't think typically no. That is four down, eight to go, Danica. Do you work in the creation or distribution of food? Yes. Do you work in a restaurant? I do not. That is five down, seven to go, Rusty. Deep in thought. Um, hmm. Do you do the same amount of work every day? Some days are slower than other days, uh, so I would have to say, I would think I would have to say no to that. Danica. Do you work in the meat industry? Yes. Still your turn. Are you a butcher? I am a butcher. Congratulations. That means that Danica got six points from that round obviously no point 
to Rusty. And with that, she takes the lead. It is now eight points, Rusty, 11 points, Danica. As we move on to our final game of the day. This is another new game for the show. This is called the list game. I have here a top 10 list. You are going to alternate guessing items on the list. Each of you has three strikes. If you strike out, you're done. But you get five points for every answer on the list that you can come up with. That's a lot of points. A lot of points right now, and there's 50 points in this game. At what point am I adding time to my sweep? Is that this part of the game, or is that well? It's going to, I'm going to need you to find, I'm going to need you to grind the coffee, and then we'll talk about it. Having trouble handling her hands. Thank you, Johnny. Okay, (laughs) 10. This is your list 10 the top 10 things doctors most commonly have to remove from a child's nose. Listen, been there. This is according to the website todaysparent.com and I thought that it would be appropriate for two veteran parents. Indeed. Rusty, as you're behind in the score, you may have the option to pass or play. Is this a situation where if we get one right, we get to guess again? Or is it no, the no, it's, it's round robin. Let me ask right, well, one more question I'll, I'll about the rules. Yes, Is this a situation where we can talk to Google on our other screen at the same time? No, that's obviously cheating, especially <laughs> since I told you the source of the list. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rusty. Sure. What are what are doctors pulling out of kids' noses these days? Uh, Lego. Legos is the number ten answer. That's the number 10 answer. Any uh, includes all small toys and game pieces. Okay. Danica, what, what's something you got the doctor pulling out of your kid's nose? Vegetables. Vegetables. I think in all fairness, I'm going to need to ask you to be more specific. Peas. Peas is the number two answer. In there. In. Have you had to actually have a doctor pull a pee out of your child's nose, or have you managed to fish it out on your own? Uh, I had to consult a doctor on the phone and then the internet, and there ended up being, I think it was a straw. There was hmm. a suction device. It was a siphon? It was so, what, so what you're telling me is you st- stuck a straw up your kid's nose and sucked to remove a pee. Oh, my husband did that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good to know. Rusty, what are, what are we pulling out of the kids' noses these days? A rock? A rock is the number five answer. Pebbles and rocks. Have you pulled a rock out of your child's nose? I have not. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> the day is young. Yeah, I got one. I got a good one. All right, let's have it. M&M's. M and M's is not on the list. That is Danica's first strike. Please. I'm sorry, it's hey, I'm not saying they don't end up up the nose. I'm just saying it's not a top ten nose item. Rusty. Um I just had it in my brain. Uh oh, I want it in your nose. A pencil eraser. A pencil eraser. I'm sorry, no, that is Rusty's first strike. There's still seven items on the list here, folks. Seven items. Including the number one item, right? Including the number one. Number two is the highest we have. Coins? Danica says coins. Coins are not on the list. Strike two for Danica. Good heavens. Um, what do you get? You got a 50 cent piece up there? My goodness. A wad of paper. Wad of paper is the number nine answer. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't do it, Danica. Don't do it. We don't need to get a doctor in here. Well done, Rusty. B- 
balls of paper and tissue are the number nine answer. Danica, you got two strikes. You got two strikes on you. If you strike out, Rusty just gets a chance to try and clear the board. Yeah. That's it. So I'd advise you to be very careful. Okay. Food. Food? I need you to be more specific. Corn. Corn is not on the list. That is a third strike. Danica, with only five points, is out of the round. Rusty, you've got two strikes left. You can you can try and run the board here. We've got four items left. Uh, we have six items okay. left. Do I get the option to steal points again? No. No, but if Rusty strikes out, we can kind of have a free for all. We're wherein no points will be awarded. A paper clip. A paper clip that is strike two. A skittle. A skittle. One would think that you would reason that if Eminem was on there, that Skittle was not. Well, I don't know. Eminem wasn't on there. That correct. Right. So I'm thinking maybe Skittle was. Third strike. Third strike. We are ending the round. Rusty got 15 points. Danica only got five. The math inclined at home know what that means. We'll get to it in a second. But let's talk about the rest of the items on the list. Do you guys want to throw any other ones out there before we run it down? I mean, there's got to be some sort of candy item. Candy corn? Candy, candy corn is not on there. Uh, I can tell you there is no traditional candy item on the list. Interesting. I don't have any other ideas. Spaghetti. Right. Spaghetti? Sure. <laughs> what goes on at your house? <laughs> Where did you go? This, this, this is some noodle thick and noodle. Then, and then what's they pull it, it out their mouth. And they, you, you never. Uh, sometimes through the ears. Sometimes through the ears. That's not possible. So you guys got the 10 and the 9. Number 8, Play Doh. Play Doh was number 8. Number seven, not candy, but nature's candy, a raisin. Nature's candy, okay. Number six, a crayon. Oh, man. Crayon. Rusty guess number five, that was a, that was a rock or a pebble. Number four, marbles. I can't imagine. Getting a marble shoved up there. Number three. Now, this is one that I think that you guys are going to, you're going to, Cheerio. A Cheerio up the That's, nose. That makes sense. At least if you get that up there just right, though, you can keep breathing. Is it honey nut or is it apple cinnamon? Uh, I Well, if it's a, I would think if it was apple cinnamon, you'd just sneeze that sucker right out. Yeah, that'd be pretty tough. I'll, I'll be scratching like it's a little extra Sure, sure. And finally, the number one answer, beads. Beads? Beads. Okay. Well, yeah, they're the... They're the Crafty they're parents, the you know. Yeah. yeah. Put some beads in my house Mardi before. Mardi Gras, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Mardi Gras. <laughs> so at the end of the show, Danica has 16 points. Rusty has stolen the day 23 points congratulations to rusty he now has bragging rights for the week and as far as the rusty versus danica goes everything is all tied up Great what job. will this mean for the next time we play will there be more contestants <laughs> who knows how, if rusty won how come i have first place uh because you're I'm doing because while the, Rusty and I have been playing the, oh boy. Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Danica has been a wiseacre. And look at that. That's, that's meta. Wow. We'll see you next time on North Metro TV's untitled Socially Distant Game Show.